Let's go on a tour. You want to go on a tour of our cool truck? Come on. We have a ramp. Look at this ramp. It's super cool. Uh, use dummy glad hands. Dummy glad hands. All right. Uh, so, yes, that's the partition that will say this is how much space we used. Um, but, yes, we get this whole truck technically. Um, we do get these cool bars that we get to bring down uh, and make, like, shelves and all this kind of stuff. They're called load bars. Um, when I worked um, at the last place, I worked Western Graphics and Data. Uh, we made, like, gift cards and, and uh, credit cards and stuff. And um, we had to fit 54 pallets in one of these trucks. Now, granted, we had a 54-footer, but um, we would put 54 pallets in these trucks. And the way we would do that is we would take these bars and we put them up across the thing. And then we put pallets underneath, pallet underneath, and put the bar on top, and pallet and pallet. And so we would have these pallets just sitting in the air, <laughs> full of credit cards. But uh, one of the things is, is it says it says right here, return captive beef beam beef beam release bar here. There's no bar. So I have to see if maybe I can go to the sh SDs today and get it. But uh, they did, they did give us um, straps. We got some more straps there. Got some more bars here. Uh, lots of bars actually. Um, so yes, we get to fill this space. Uh, will it be enough to hold all of our stuff? It better because I only get one. Uh, one of the, uh, the way this works is, is you, uh, you tell them how much space, how, like, like we put down a, I think, I think we put down a three bedroom house plus or four bedroom house plus. Um, and it said, you, you're, you're going to need 22 feet in the trailer. And I'm like, <laughs> you don't know about my Halloween stuff. Um, so that, um, from 22 feet, which is probably, I don't know, there's the door, and you probably gotta think, that's a half a foot, that's a foot, two, three, four, four so it's probably like right to like here, probably somewhere around in here. Um, and for every foot past this, it's only $145. Right here is two thousand is $4,000. This is four thousand like eight hundred and sixty. <laughs> so um, generally, what I'm thinking is I'm going to use this whole truck. Uh, I don't want to. I would love to use just the twenty-two feet, and we're going to try that. We're going to mark it on the floor where the twenty-two feet is, and then we're going to load it all up. Um, being my logistics mind, uh, it, it's it, I, I, I'm at a loss of how to do this uh, because we have such random stuff. We have a lot of Halloween stuff. We have fencing, we have tombstones, we have 12 foot skeleton, we've got all kinds of crazy stuff, but I think that I have some ways to do it. And we, we have all these totes. We have all the totes for Halloween. We've got totes for Christmas. Um, we've got boxes, we've got... Those are not going, but they're cool, aren't they? Um, so I think what I'm gonna start doing is we're gonna put, because we're taking our sheds with us, is that the shed floors are gonna go down first. Um, and then we're going to put up the um, like cemetery stuff, like all the fencing and all the pillars and stack that up and then probably bring down some bars and do some stuff on top of that as well and basically make a bunch of Halloween stuff back there and then totes in front of that um, with like a wall between the two because I have the shed walls that I could put between all this stuff. So put the shed walls up in there, then put the totes up and then put another shed walls in front of that. And then we can start loading in our boxes and our furniture and all that. So, um, I think that's kind of how, how we're, how we're going to do it, but it's going to be a process, but it's Saturday morning. We have this truck until Thursday, normally with, these trucks, you get them for three days. You not counting the day they drop and the day they pick up. Um, so if we were to have gotten it on Friday like we did, uh, the day one would be today and Sunday, Monday would be day three. They would then come pick it up starting on Tuesday. This place doesn't drop or pick up trucks on Mondays and Tuesdays from residential homes. So that means the first day that they would want to come pick it up because they're counting Friday as one day uh, or they're counting today as one day or whatever. I, I don't know how they're doing it, but she goes, we'll just pick it up on Thursday. So, okay. So I get seven days to load it. Um, 
So that's going to be nice that we don't have to rush around. It's going to be in the 80s today and tomorrow, so that's going to kind of suck. So you don't want to go along and load the truck all day, all day, all day, all day. So we'll do a little bit, and then we'll go pack some more stuff in the house or relax or whatever. So like after dinner, we probably won't do anything. Or maybe we'll come, you know, in the heat of the day, we'll stop, come back out after dinner, um, you know, and load some more stuff. But uh, we'll film some of it as we go along. Um, we're going to bring all of the Halloween stuff up from the from the backyard today. It's all going to come up here to the driveway and the yard um, so that we can start loading it piece by piece. And basically, I'm, I'm going to have like Ashley and, 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 and Elizabeth and Logan help me bring all that stuff to the front. And then they can go away. And then I'll load um, as I need to. So, um, you know. We'll see how it goes, but I'm going to try to film it because I can put the camera in here and, and, and do some time-lapse stuff. Uh, so I need to charge this battery though. Uh, so yeah, we'll do some time-lapse and that'll be fun. Uh, and uh, so this is where we're at. We are at loading time. <clears throat> and I still have allergies. They're getting better, but I went to a different allergy medicine. So uh, hopefully Texas will be the ultimate allergy medicine. We'll see what else. Maybe maybe I'll go in the backyard. Let's see. Yeah, let's go in the backyard. All right, well, now we're here in the backyard. And so, like, see what I'm thinking is, like, we lay down the shed bases because there's the two sheds right there. We lay down those bases, and then we've got all the fencing. So we can stack this fencing up just like that, but on the floor. So we'd lay it flat like this. And then we can start putting, like, the pillars on top of that and all of this foam. I can actually use that foam for walls as well. Um, you know, 12 foot skeleton is going to go back in the box. Um, you know, these guys can then stack on top of that. Um, you know, from, from like far away in the yard, this looks like a lot when you walk up to it, it's not that much, which is great. Um, I'm going to mow here in a minute because I can't, can't walk through all this. Um, but yeah, I think there's something in there. I think there's a rabbit in here. <laughs> Anyways, this is the one that's going to be the tough one. Um, we got a lot of stuff for Frankenstein's lab in here. We've got some, you know, the 12 foot skeleton boxes back there. Um, the car, the sarcophagus, these guys, all the, all the tubes. Um, I kept the, just this one guy. I gave, I, I, I got rid of the other one. Um, so, you know, that's a little less, but, um, yeah, it's a necessity. We need to get this, uh, Actually, the bulk of this is actually that sarcophagus and the 12-foot skeleton box. Um, so it's it's actually not as much as I thought as well. Um, and then over here, we've got what's left of the Christmas stuff. Uh, this actually isn't very much stuff left, as you can tell. It's almost empty in here. Um, so the Christmas, this is just going to be totes. Um, and now we're going to take those shelves apart. But yeah, see, I need, I need the floor. It comes in four pieces. I need the floor. Um, I need to clean it off too, though. So... Uh, but everything back here is pretty much done. Um, we're leaving that. That's the garden area. Uh, I burned all the wood. So we have no more wood left here that they can complain about. So that's good. Um, and uh, that stays because that was here when we got here. Um, I'm going to probably leave the ladder because I don't need a ladder at the new house for the most part. That type of ladder right now anyways. Um, we've got all that to move as well. That's the hot tub. And then we've got all the Christmas totes and the barbecue um, the, obviously the, the hot tub thing is gone. Um, that's our patio set over there. That's going to go, um, with us, you know, so the backyard is pretty much done. Just needs to be mowed. Um, and, uh, yeah, so we'll see how this goes and, uh, we will start, uh, loading it up here. So the next video you'll see will be, uh, loading the truck. Yeah. Uh, physically loading the truck. I just showed you a little precursor of it. So, all right. <sighs> One week to go. We'll be on the road by this point next at the, at the in one week. So, we'll be on our way to Salt Lake City by this point. Destination Lone Star. <laughs>